as you can see, I repeated step number four three different times, and I included from 7 days to 30 days and 365 days. And the only thing that I had to change was the minimum scale from subtracting 7 to subtracting 30 to subtracting 365 days from the current date. Uh, it's helpful at this time to note that the date is actually an integer, so when you subtract 1, you're subtracting one full day. If you subtract a decimal, you're actually subtracting a part of a day, which is actually hours and its fraction of time. So let's go ahead and continue with step number five, and that is going to be to format your buttons. You'll notice that back in my spreadsheet here, they're all just named button one, button two, and button three. So I don't think that's going to be clear to users, and even over a little bit of time, I think you'll forget too. So if you right-click on the button itself and go to Edit Text, remember that button 1 was 7 days, button 2 was 30 days, and then button 3 was 365 days. And I don't like to use um, seven days or one week, one month, and one year, because when you talk about one month, the days can be variable. And when you talk about one year, even the days can be variable there for leap years. So I like to actually define exactly what I'm talking about and exactly what the macro is going to produce.